Hello everyone, this is Jensen Norris here for another new and exciting episode of Hero in You. I'm here today to talk to you about giving. With the holiday season fast approaching, one of the first things people think about is, whoa, it's time for me to start shopping. It's time for me to start giving that person a gift. But the truth is, if you're not giving from the heart, you'll never experience the benefits of until you find the hero in you. Remember, by nature, as humans, we like to give. By nature, that is who we are. By giving, it helps us feel good about ourselves and see the impact it has towards other fellow humans. As Christopher Reeves once says, you've got to give more than you take. Have you thought, ever thought about the simplest thing, the impact you have in someone's life? When you are giving, how does it change your life? There's actually a week dedicated in India called Joy of Giving. From October 2nd to October 8th, the whole idea, the whole concept is you help, you give. It can be the simplest things as helping a child or helping someone babysit a child, or little things can actually make a person's life a difference. Someone is looking for work. You actually help them out with their resume, help them out with their, uh, with their interview skills. You can talk to them. This is just an example of law of generosity. Today, we will look at how giving can be helpful in a personal aspect with our self-esteem. And finally, we will see how giving can also be helpful in a business point of view. Let's look at the personal aspect. Usually, the reason people can have low self-esteem is because they are too focused on themselves and what they don't have. However, when you change that focus and you see you want to help others or help society, you will begin to find a fulfillment in life. You'll discover that the more you give to people, the better you'll feel about yourself and your higher your self-esteem will grow. I have a friend of mine who was, had his very low point. I told him that if he wants to serve people, and be, he should use, use all his heart. Therefore, my friend decided to volunteer and do a missionary work in Haiti. And he was happy about it. Researchers find that giving helps people fight depression as a practice for the individual to find empowerment. A, be a better example of giving is this example from Hawkeye issue number one. This story is a very interesting story. What happened is Hawkeye, he's part of a team called the Avengers. And these guys, they have, they have like various powers, whether it's healing factors have, or godlike powers, or being a super soldier, or building an armor. There were various things that these guys have. But Hawkeye only has a bow and arrow. So keep in mind, if he gets injured, when he gets hurt, it's even worse. It's more painful. So it has a major toll on his confidence level that his peers are more powerful and greater than him, but he has a bow and arrow. However, there was one situation that he encountered there was an uh, apartment building where a group of peop uh, people that were living in the apartment, they got evacuated. Their landlord decided to triple, triple up their rent. So they were homeless. So what did Hawkeye decided to do? He managed to collect as much money as possible. And he actually bought the apartment, and which made all the people that were evacuated back to their place and live happily. Hawkeye, at the end of the story, he was very, he felt a fulfillment in himself. He was able, despite his, his powers are limited, but he was able to touch lives. And he, in this situation, made him value himself differently. And this is just an example, just even though this is a comic book, just the example of how helping others can help, how can improve the way we value ourselves. I love this quote from Albert Einstein. It says, the value of a man resides in what he gives not in what he is capable of receiving. Ladies and gentlemen, understanding that by understanding giving, it plays a major role in a personal aspect. Let's see it in a business point of view. Many successful businessmen donate their, donate their time and energy to customers and clients. It's not about money. People are remembered not for being rich, but for what they bring to society while they were alive. Even rich moguls like Oprah Winfrey or Bill Gates will be remembered for how they changed the world, how they changed lives, not for the millions or billions that they have. There are many different ways that donors can give to help society. 
whether you're giving money, aid, food, or your time, we can all give something back. When you die, no, honestly speaking, no one will care about how much money you died with. But you can change someone's life by giving of your, of your time or your money, and that will be the legacy people will remember. The major importance of a businessman, businessman giving donations to charity is the fact that they are also bridging the gap between the wealthy and the less fortunate. I like this quote from Oprah Winfrey. It says, I don't think you ever stop giving. I really don't think it's an on, I really think, I don't think I can stop. It's just about being able to write a check. It's being able to touch somebody's life. Overall. We saw how giving can improve someone's personal life in a, a, with their self-esteem. And we also see how business aspect can, can learn something from giving. But keep in mind, giving is one thing. But how you give and your attitude is very important. It has to come from the heart. I love this quote from Bruce Lee. It says, it's not what you give. It's the way you give it. Ladies and gentlemen, God wants us to be cheerful givers like him. And if we're not, we might as well not give at all. But in order for you to find the hero in you, you have to help others. And that's how you find the hero in you. If you want to share your experience of how you're giving or how you're helping society or helping a person, come follow us on Twitter at Hero in You. You can share our experience, your experience and how you're be, being a hero to others. This is Jensen Denoyce with another new exciting episode of Hero in You. And yes, you can find the hero in you.